we've just got back from the first ever Arnold Classic UK Strongman Competition and Expo. The first ever one in the UK. It was unbelievable. 20,000 people a day came to the event, the Expo. Um, and then on the Sunday evening, um, we had the Strongman Competition where I think it was about 10 guys from all over the world competed to see who was the strongest. Presenting Scotland, the reigning and defending Europe's strongest man, Mr. from Saturday all the way through to Sunday. Um, on the Saturday we were meeting fans on stalls, just having a lot of fun, you know. It was mad, there was loads of people there. Myself and Luke got bombarded as soon as we went in. But it was nice to give back. One of these haven't been on for a long, long time. The first, like I said, in the UK. And I think it's gonna blow every other expo out the water. Yeah, Arnold's was unbelievable. The way we got treated, the staff, the security, everyone was top notch, so. We had Alexei Novikov, former or current world's strongest man. We are aware of the pace of Alexei Novikov. Alexei Novikov is going to be wild! Then we had Evan Singleton. Trey wow. Mitchell came across from America for his first Giants live show. Like Andy Black again, brilliant to see Andy competing at the first Arnold's. Mark Felix was there. There's loads of guys, loads of top guys, and you know, another kind of stacked lineup um, at these shows. So, going into this competition, um, kind of a little bit of a backstory. So, Tom and I came down on Friday, we drove all the way down, dropped Gabrielle and Simon off in Birmingham at about three o'clock, and then we continued to drive down to Wembley to London, where we had an event on with, we went to Bellator as one of our sponsors and invited us down. Great show, lovely to see the guys compete, fighting, it was insane. But then we drove back home, didn't get back to Birmingham till 3 a.m. And then we had to wake up about seven, go down to the expo set up, and do a full day there. I think we were on three stands, if I'm not mistaken. So the Ice Bath Company, we were on Rain for a wee bit. We were on Mile Master. We had some merchandise as well, which we sold with Giants Live and stuff. So as soon as we got in there and put our merchandise down, there was a massive queue for us. And, you know, we expected a few people to come get photos of us, but not to the extent that people did. It was unbelievable. You know, obviously they had to then start calling security to control us and to control the lines, because they said the lines were just going through other stalls, but it's just cool to see, you know, the Stoltman brothers taking over the expo, which was quite uh, kind of surreal. It was, I was blessed and grateful for it because I, I realised I had a few fans, but didn't realise I had so many there. And uh, people were saying, you know, the organisers there, we had bigger lines than, you know, Khabib and Salon and everyone like that, which are massive, massive celebrities. And to think that we kind of had big queues like that was unbelievable. Very kind of grateful with that. It was nice to be at an expo without any kind of the rules and stuff with this past few years that's happened in this country and being able to enjoy yourself, to mix with the fans and to actually be able to be hands on with the fans, you know, cuddle them, high fives, get close up and personal with them all. And it was really cool to 
have, be there and witness all that and witness how much fans we got and all the merchandise we were selling and everybody in our spicy t-shirts as well and our other t-shirts and then obviously on the Sunday kind of same thing again uh, woke up quite early we were going to go to the expo for a few hours and then go back and chill out but that didn't happen you know we went to the expo I think it was 10 o'clock we went on a mental health stand for I think it was 30 minutes or so and that blew out as well geez that went mental we were signing 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 t-shirts non-stop for half an hour loads of people came and you know, got the t-shirts, got photos and everything, so that was cool as well. Physically and emotionally, mentally, we were very drained by this point, by the time the Strongman show came. First event was the Hercules Hold. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Europe's strongest man, Mr. Luke Stoltman. Which I was quite happy with, I think I got a PB and that, I think it was over 50 seconds I held for, so relatively speaking, um, you know, I was quite happy, but the, the kind of pull it put on my shoulder, um, I've, I've got a clicky shoulder anyway, that made that a lot worse and on the, the warm-ups for the next event, my shoulder kind of popped and yeah, it just didn't feel really good. And then combined with the severe lack of energy and the, that drain that we felt, it just wasn't safe for us to carry on and continue because if you don't have that energy to kind of really put in and, and go 100% in these competitions, that's where injuries really do happen. So for me, um, with the injury and the, the fatigue, I just had to pull out after the Hercules hold. It's almost having that confidence and a, being able to do that, you know, you have to say to the organizers, look guys, really not feeling it, shoulders done, mentally, uh, physically, we're both drained, we need to pull out and, you know, reserve or conserve our energy for the next show. And that's what we did. And, you know, thankfully the organizers were, were very supportive of this decision. and. Um, I was really gutted um, having to do that because a lot of, you know, you guys watching this were also down there at the show and it made me feel a bit, bit crappy kind of having to pull out, so apologies to all you guys, but um, come the next show we'll be ready to go. Yeah, I think everybody knows by now that i only done two events and, you know, I was getting a bit of, there's been a few kind of negative comments about it, but at the end of the day, you know, those kind of comments don't really mean anything to me. Uh, I always just read the positivity that people bring to me and I just want to get a wee point across as well that like me and Luke were kind of the only athletes I would say or that did a whole day on the Saturday you know from 8pm to kind of five, half five we did four stands, three, three or four stands, we stayed there and made sure we met you know 90% of the people that were in the queues as well and uh, it was very long days for us whereas we could have just got to the got to the expo, dropped the merchandise, gone gone home, uh, gone back to the hotel, stayed away from the Saturday, stayed away on the Sunday, turned up for the comp on the Sunday night and just met the VIP, VVIP people, which was only going to be 100. The night before on the Friday, we also went to the MMA. So that was, you know, we were back in the hotel on the Saturday morning at 3 a.m., woke up at 7 and had that big long day. Um, but yeah, you know, I did the Hurtley's Hold, the first event, and I felt very drained, very, very kind of, Lethargic, just nothing felt like I could get my mind into it. I was just thinking about kind of sleep. I didn't eat properly or nothing. I was just so kind of fatigued and wanting just to sleep and chill out after kind of the Saturday uh, and, you know, the Sunday during the day. And then, you know, Luke pulled out with his shoulder injury. Then on the second event, you know, I kind of was backstage warming up with the frame, feeling very dizzy, just kind of, like I said, head not in it, um, very tired, didn't have hardly any sleep and stuff. And I just thought, right, you know, let's do the professional thing and pull out. I didn't have ended up maybe passing out and dropping something on my f myself or doing stuff, you know, sitting bad, you know, like Pa dropped the dumbbell on his head, which could have made it even worse for him and he could have been out of Britain and stuff. So I don't want to risk that, you know. At the end of the day, it's, you know, I know it's not nice two people pulling out, the stop us pulling out because loads of people are there to see us compete, but at the end of the day as well, we pulled out, you know, we made that decision based on us. Uh, no one else, you know, I don't care any other people's opinions. It was my own opinion. I did the right thing. 
but we still stayed there, we met, met all the fans during the competition as well, which shouldn't have actually happened because they didn't pay for VVIP, but we fought as you know, to respect the fans, to respect the people that we'd go out and get as many photos as we could. Then we got photos of the VVIPs after as well. So we stayed the whole time. We got photos throughout the whole weekend. We stayed at the expo the whole time. So people kind of need to realize that we can't, we're, we're going at 100% all the time and what happens behind the scenes. And people that were at the expo would have seen how many queues we had, how tired we were on the Sunday and stuff as well. And, you know, even the organizers, you know, Giants Live put on a great show. And even like, you know, Darren Collins saying, Tom, you're, you know, you're buggered, just kind of, uh, you know, just, uh, slow it down a wee bit. So that's what I did. After Tom and I both decided to pull out of the show, um, we went out onto the into the crowd and kind of got photos and stuff. And it was, it was incredible, you know, it was so nice to see that people actually are interested in us and want to take photos and see these queues form. And it was incredible, to be honest. Uh, and that's what, like, Tom and I both love doing. We both love, like interacting with, with all you guys that watch our YouTube, come to support us at these shows. It's because of you that, you know, we can do this now. So um, the fact that you guys actually take an interest in us is pretty amazing. So it's, it's so cool. Like the crowds, yeah, it was just insane. The queues that were forming, the people that were wanting to come up and take photos with us. Um, got to meet some really good guys, really inspiring guys um, throughout the days and yeah, very much uh, appreciated of all the, the support that Tom and I both get. Congratulations to Evan Novikov and uh, Trey Mitchell. It came back down to count, count back and uh, Evan beat uh, Novikov on the stone, so Evan won. So that's him won two Giants lives this year. That's his uh, season over with now as well, so he can go back home and uh, chill out and relax. Uh, well done Novikov again, proving uh, why he's one of the best in the world and Trey Mitchell as well. Uh, coming over here and uh, putting on a show for us. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed it. Big thank you to Arnold for uh, letting us come down and have some fun this weekend and we'll see you again next year. Yes, well, I just, I just said, and, yeah, being happy is the most important thing, man. We all, we've got to share happiness, we've got to be happy, we've got to enjoy life. You know how it is, man. You're, you're, the, you're the guru of this stuff. You're, we learn from you and you, uh, you inspire us every day. To, it's amazing. Evan managed to win his second show of the year. So huge, huge congratulations to Evan Singleton. He's proven he's one of the best athletes out there. He's a monstrous man with huge strength. You know, he's, he works very, very hard on what he does and I couldn't be more happy for him to, to see his success in the Strongman. I think it's awesome to see him. Um, I really wish all the best for you, Evan. I, I know you're going to be yeah, tough to beat next year. It's going to be a great battle between us all, and um, I'm sure you're looking forward to it just as much as myself. And um, nothing but respect and love for you for, for winning your second show of the year. Yeah, at the end of the day, I need to look into the future, which is Britain's strongest man. You know, that's the title that I've been close to, and I've not and it, not been able to battle out for. I think it was a year, it's been nearly two years now. So that's the title I want, and that's the title that I'm focused for. You know, at these kind of shows, Giants Live. Like the stadium shows, you can focus more, you, you don't meet the fans till after the competition. So, you know, that's my kind of summary. I thought I wasn't injured, I still had a few niggles, I was just exhaustion, you know. Exhaustion's very, very bad as well. You've seen that, like you'll see that at World Stars Man on TV. People weren't injured, but they were exhausted, and then they ended up having oxygen passing out. So, there's a lot of different things that can happen to you, and uh, until people put, people go into my shoes or Luke's shoes or any other athlete's shoes, and they pull out for a reason that other people might not agree with. It doesn't really matter if they don't agree. At the end of the day, we did what's better for us, and that's, for me, not finishing that comp, focusing on Britain's strongest man, having a great off-season, and then we'll see from there. But yeah, it was great. Arnold's oh, the whole four was unbelievable. Great seeing all the fans. Big thank you to everybody that invited us down. Thank you to the Arnolds and Eddie Hall and everyone for making myself and Luke feel welcome and stuff as well. And, what better way as well to top the weekend off with meeting Sylvester Salona. We are now about 18, 17 days out from Britain's Strongest Man. I'll be back there fighting for the title. You know, I'm mentally focused, physically focused, recovered from the weekend, back training today when this video goes out, so it'll be my first training session back. I wanted to kind of, like I said, take a few days off after the expo to 
recharge my batteries and I'm back. I'm going to be fighting fit and I'm going to be ready to take that title back to the Highlands. Um, Tom and I both started in a recovery um, aspect already, so we had physio yesterday, I saw Neil Rooney, uh, the natural health practitioner, so he did some great work with me, um, doing our hot and cold again, straight back into that, starting to feel better already. Um, the the training's got an aspect of recovery as well, so making sure we're, we're kind of doing that kind of shoulder health, you know, looking after our shoulders, looking after our knees, all those bits and pieces that we need to do. Um, we've just started doing a mobility class with a guy called Sean Clark. He, he's um, kindly agreed to take us on and, and do a one-to-one -one session with Tom and I. Um, so it's just these little things, these different aspects that we're throwing in again to, to try and improve and try and kind of do that injury prevention rather than injury cure. So I think that's a massive, massive thing um, for both Tom and myself. So with that being said, we've got the next competition in three weeks' time, which is Britain's Strongest Man, one of the biggest shows in the year for both Tom and myself. It's one of the best titles to have, I, I would say. Um, certainly in Britain, because you're Britain's Strongest Man. So that will be our next show. It's down in Sheffield, so if you haven't got your tickets, get them now. It's going to be insane. The level of strength in, in Britain just now is incredible, so please come watch. If you can't watch, it will be a live stream. Tune in to watch that, see all the action live, and see who will be crowned as Britain's Strongest Man. So we'll see you there. Smile, stay safe, stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.